Hey y'all, I'm back with my Sunday episode of Let's Be Real. I know it's a little bit later than I normally hop on here, but anyway, I'm here tonight and I wanted to speak to you on the topic, Stay the Course. And so I hope this encourages you this week as always. Um, the intent of these lives is just to encourage you to stir your heart, stir your spirit, um, to think about things maybe in a different way. So stay the course. I just want to encourage you that whatever it is that God has called you to do, stay the course. Don't run ahead of God. Um, <clears throat> I know like some there might I've had issues in the past where um, I've had friends or loved ones that were so excited for me. They they could see the promise that God had given me that it was about to come and they wanted to kind of help me try to do different things to kind of help me along but the Lord reminded me that I need to stay the course don't run ahead of him don't run to the right or to the left stay the course um, that God has for you you know his timing is perfect and what it is whatever it is that he has for you the promise you will reach it in the intended time so um, I was just thinking about different um, scenarios in the Bible how you know where David he went to defeat Goliath and what did they want him to do they wanted him to put on Saul's armor they gave him all this big heavy armor but he knew that that was not um, for him he wasn't called to wear that armor um, he was trained um, in the fields with the animals and he knew he defended um, himself and the sheep against a lion and a bear and he didn't wear any of that heavy armor he just had his slingshot and a smooth stone and that's what he knew to work those are the tools the weapons that the Lord gave him and the armor was for someone else it wasn't for him so he stayed true to himself and he stayed the course and even though um, Everyone didn't believe, nobody really believed that he could do it because he was just this little farm bar boy, right? You know, he was tending the sheep, a shepherd boy. And um, he didn't have any specialized military training. Um, this was a giant that none of the men had been able to defeat. They would run in um, fear because of his size, but David didn't. He was on a mission. He knew that the Lord had sent him there and called him to fight Goliath. He stayed the course. He stayed true to what God told him to do and the, the tools and weapons that God told him to use. So I just want to encourage you um, in whatever tools that the Lord has placed in your hands, you use that because that's what will work for you. If he's calling you to use your voice, then that's what you do. You speak up, you do whatever and say whatever the Lord is telling you to say. Whatever tools that he's placed in your hand, stay the course. It doesn't matter if um, others have run ahead of you. You know, they have been maybe even been on the same journey with you and they are anxious to um, receive their promise and they've run ahead and already received their reward and you're still waiting on yours. Stay the course. God's timing is perfect. So when you get to where your destination is, you will receive whatever it is that God had for you. So I just hope that this encourages you this week, like stay the course. I know I had, um, there was a time in my life where the Lord challenged me to sow this huge seed, a thousand dollar seed, which was really big for me. I was, um, a Christian but I had never like given that way to the Lord and the Lord opened the door for me he gave he gave me a job just out of nowhere it was like the job was created for me and so every paycheck I would pay my tithes and then I would pay the use of rest the remainder of the paycheck to pay on that seed until I sold the the one thousand dollars and it took me several months to get there because I only work part-time and so um, I was at the very end. I only had forty dollars left to um, to pay uh, in order to complete this um, thing, you know, that the Lord had asked me to do. And so a friend was just so excited for me. She was like, you know, I know God has this promise for you. I want to give you the forty dollars to finish, you know, sowing your seed. But I told her, thank you. I'm so thankful for your enthusiasm and your excitement for me. Um, but I can't take your money. 
because that's not something that I earned. I can't, I need to do this the way God told me to do it. So I can't take the money, even though I know you want to bless me, you want to help me along, you want to help me, you know, get to that place that God has called me to, but I have to be obedient to do what God told me to do. And this is how he told me to do it. So I had to wait till my next paycheck before I was able to fulfill um, what God asked me to do, that obedience. And that really taught me um, a lot about trusting him, trusting his timing, and being obedient to do what he said to do in the way that he taught me to do. And there's just like been so many di other different um instances in my life where situations like that have happened where people were just so excited for me and want to help me along the journey but the Lord is like no like stay the course do what I've asked you to do in the way that I've asked you to do it so I just want to encourage you that you know whatever God has asked you to do stay the course you know even though it might seem like your progress is going slowly it's okay. Slow progress is still progress. As long as you're moving, uh, staying on the pathway that God has called you to do, then you're exactly where you need to be. You know, there might be some bumps and challenges along the way. Nobody expected, you know, a global pandemic to happen. But hey, we're in the midst of it. We're in the throngs of it. But I just want to encourage you to stay the course. You know what God has told you to do. You know the tools that he's given you. So, um, I just wanted to encourage you uh, to stay the course. Don't look to the right or to the left or let anyone, um, you know, r get you to run ahead of God. You know, he will not fail you. And so I hope that blesses you this week. And I just wanted to share that little bit that was on my heart. The Lord just kept that on my, my heart and um, it was like share with people today. So there you have it. I hope that you guys have a wonderfully blessed Sunday evening and um I will see you back sometime next week. Bye. Blessings.